Well, hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Allie DeAndrea. I'm a hunter and angler, a public lands advocate and lover of all things outdoors. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, I am about to grind up some venison that I had killed this past year. I butchered this deer myself and I always keep a grind pile. Um, so tonight I have four packages of grind meat that I'm going to turn into some delicious ground venison. I do have music playing in the background, so, uh, this video might get demonetized, but I don't really care because I'm just hanging out and, uh, you know, having a little fun. So this is what we are working with. Uh, whenever I process my deer and I know that I'm going to grind up the meat, I pre-cut them into little chunks, which you'll see in a minute. Then I wrap them in plastic wrap, and then wrap them in butcher paper. So that's what you're seeing here. I have one more pack to unwrap. This meat is about half frozen, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want before it goes into the grinder. So let's finish unwrapping, shall we? Voila, that's what she looks like. See how it breaks apart? <laughs> There's some hair. That's how you know it's real. It's like that. Whenever you're using a grinder, it's super important that you freeze all of the parts prior to using. A couple of days before I know that I'm going to grind, I will throw them in Ziploc bags with a little bit of oil. I just put a little bit of olive oil in there and then just kind of mush it around. That will help things keep moving nice and smoothly. And when you're ready to actually grind, you wanna pull them out just before you're ready and then hook them up to the rest of your grinder. I have my grinder all set up. I've got my meat ready to go. I'm also going to cut in some pork sausage. Now, in a perfect world, I would go to my local butcher and buy some pork fat directly from them. In this scenario, I just picked this up from the grocery store. Part of me feels guilty about doing it this way because I've worked so hard on this beautiful venison that it feels almost shameful to go buy something from the grocery store and cut it into this beautiful meat. But at the end of the day, it does need fat. And at the end of the day, most people will be doing it this way. It's just easily accessible. This works just fine if you have bacon, lying around, that will work just fine as well. You want it to be anywhere from 1090 in the fat to meat ratio or 1585. Aim for that and you'll be good. So without further ado, let's get to grinding. So now she's gone through the first round. I'm going to change out to the fine attachment and then we will run it through all again. You want to make sure that you unplug your grinder while you are switching out to the fine grind. So you unplug, you unscrew, you switch out those little circles, you know, coarse grind to fine grind and then you're good to run through a second time. Now, pro tip, if things start getting mushy, just throw your bucket of grind meat into the freezer for just a little bit, and that will change everything. Don't try to mush up the meat. If you need to, just let it freeze for just a little bit, and then you'll be good to go. Here we go, round two.
Okay. We're ready to plug back in and grind our second round through the fine adjustment. All right, it is time to package up this finely ground, beautiful venison, and all of my components are going to go into a soapy sink for a washin. Plastic wrap and freezer paper. That is what you need. So that is it, you guys. I am all finished grinding up my white tail. It's all packaged and in the freezer. And that's yeah, all. Finished my beer, had a lot of fun. Hope you had fun too. And I will see you guys in the next one.